now on NBC. NBC Tonight on Boomtown. He's got a gun. He's going to kill me. A murder heard over the phone. LAPD. A wife caught in a dangerous game. A race against time. The woman is going to be murdered. Hey, I got something. Critics are calling it the best new show of the season. So what exactly happens at your parties? Boomtown, NBC Tonight. Do you want the luxury of a Simmons Beauty Rest mattress? Randy Price. Or you'll see only on 7. Katerina Bandini. Let's get right to the quarter for The team to watch for the best news coverage. Only on 7 News. Craftsman Truck Series. Tough drivers, tough trucks. Over the weekend, more than 10,000 fans took part in the EA Sports NASCAR Thunder 2003 Fan Challenge. Here in Talladega, Derek Wood of Elkhorn, Nebraska, drove the fastest qualifying lap, advancing into the final round against Dale Earnhardt Jr. And even though Jr.'s won the last two races here in Talladega, Derek got past his NASCAR hero on the final dramatic lap, <laughs> earning him the title of Ultimate NASCAR Thunder Video Gamer and $10,000. All right, what about our NASCAR Thunder 2003, BP? Well, normally at this time of the race, we tell you about the groove and the best way, best way around the racetrack. Today, there is no groove. They're all over the racetrack. We see the cars too wide. You're going through the trouble by the start-finish line. Wally will probably see more cars wide than that. It's going to get a lot busier. Three, four. Yesterday in practice, we saw the cars three, four wide. These cars at 190 miles per hour can run inside any of these lanes they want to. And that's what it may take to get to Victor Lane and hoist that trophy. NASCAR Thunder 2003, now available in stores. Cars just rolling from the pit lane to start their three paraded pace laps. So look at the starting lineup and the green flag is next from Talladega. NBC's coverage of the EA Sports 500 is brought to you by NASCAR Thunder 2003 from EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. By Dodge. You can take life as it comes or you can grab life by the horns. Dodge. By Walmart. Always low prices. Always. By Wrangler and Wrangler's new five-star premium denim jeans. And by Coca-Cola, the official soft drink of NASCAR. NASCAR on NBC from the world's fastest speedway where the EA Sports 500 is about to get underway at Talladega. Cars about one and a half laps through three parade and pace laps they'll make before the green waves. Budweiser, the official beer of NASCAR, is proud to sponsor the Bud Pole Award given to the fastest qualifier at each NASCAR Winston Cup race, but not this one. Qualifying canceled by rain on Friday, but there are the 14 drivers already qualified for next February's Bud Shootout, and Heiser Busch awarding more than $7 million since 1979 as title sponsor of NASCAR's Pole Award program. Now the Walmart starting grid for today's EA Sports 500. Field lined up according to current owner points and other provisions. So Jimmy Johnson, the championship leader, is on the pole. And on the inside of row two is Tony Stewart. Restrictor plates his Achilles this year. He's averaged a 37th place finish. Last week's winner, Jeff Gordon, on the outside. Jamie McMurray, his NASCAR Winston Cup debut in Sterling Marlins car. He starts in row three with Rusty Wallace. There's Ryan Newman, the inside of row four. Hottest driver so far in the second half. Matt Kenseth on the outside. Four victories this year. A couple of drivers each making their 52nd start in Talladega. Bill Elliott and Ricky Rudd, the veterans row, row number five today. And on the inside of row six, Kurt Busch on the outside is Dale Jarrett. Let's try to talk to Dale Jarrett. DJ, Benny Parsons, you got me? I got you, BP. All right, first of all, how's the car? I think it was going to be pretty good. Uh, seems to be uh, able to draft up and hang on. Uh, haven't had it out front that much uh, in the draft, but I think we'll be okay. Do you have your strategy all lined up with a small gas tank? 
we talked about a lot of different uh, scenarios for sure. And, uh, well, we got some action going on before we ever get started here. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. We think we know what we want to do if we can just make all of that happen. Yeah, we had a couple of guys get together, coming down for the signal. One lap to go, DJ. Yeah, it looked like Mark was trying to warm up his tires and maybe got a little loose and came over into the 48. So uh, I don't know if there's any damage, but we'll have to see what happens. Oh, man, it's, it's starting early, DJ. Good luck. It is starting early. Uh, hopefully that'll be as much action as we'll have today, other than just a lot of passing. All right, man, thanks. And the rest of the starting field for today's EA Sports 500. What was that all about? The 48 right front fender when I looked up was pretty well damaged. Man. Did I? I what do you do about that? I'm monitoring NASCAR's radio. I believe the six team is asking permission to pass the pace car to try and come to pit road and check their car. Permission being denied, of course. You're never allowed to pass the pace car. Hmm. Wow, that's weird. That is weird. And the top two guys in the championship before we even get started. And as I said, there is damage. I saw damage to the right front tire, right front fender. Let's see what we can tell what might have happened. Well, these.